welcome back everyone. So in this particular video, it will be a short video, we're going to discuss what it's like when you install our endpoint solution with the Sandblast agent component. Um, the previous video showed about the policy options that are available, and then now we'll take a look at what you can do with some of those options. Okay. So our endpoint, just to look at view, has our anti-malware, anti-bot ransomware, and threat emulation functionality listed here. When you install the endpoint agent with the Sandblast solution, when the browsers are launched that we support, Chrome, IE, Firefox, we're going to install the Sandblast agent for browsers functionality. And this is what allows a lot of the functionality to happen when the users are browsing around to protect the environment. So in this particular instance, I'm at a PDF page. And let's say I wanted to download this PDF. So I'm click on the PDF and what the solution is going to do is it's going to go ahead and start the testing process for this to determine if it's problematic. And the original file was downloaded, no threats found. So it gives me the option now that I've downloaded the file, there was no threats found, there was no problem associated with it, and I can continue on. Uh, and then hopefully that's what you want to see with it. And you can see here that it's downloaded, no issues, no problem. Um, let's go ahead and let's click on another one here. Same instance, hopefully um, it'll give us a clean file. Again, same thing, original file, clean, no problem. Um, let's click on the third one here. So as you can see here, the process happens really quickly. There isn't a whole lot that's problematic for the users. But in this particular instance, you can see a potential malicious element was removed from the file. So from the user's perspective, here you can see it says PDF URL guide dot cleaned dot PDF, okay? Um, and what this means is that there was something found and we ended up cleaning it unlike the other two files where there was nothing found associated with. So this is now a clean sanitized file which is safe uh, for the end user to use and leverage. Up in the dialog box here, you can see that the original sample files that were the first two we did, no problems. So there was no need for any additional work that needed to be done. But the third file we downloaded showed Melissa's content was removed. Now, for some reason, if the user wants to get the original file, they can um, in association with it based on the company policies, uh, you know, elements were removed. Um, they can get the original if they wanted to or if you give them the ability to do that. So very simple functionality from the standpoint of them downloading a file and leveraging it. It doesn't take very long. It doesn't stop the workflow for the day. Um, in regards to the end user. And again, if the file is clean, or we know it to be clean, then there's no additional functionality we need to do to emulate it. Um, obviously, the larger the file, it may take a little bit longer, um, but in general, it happens fairly quick, usually from an emulation perspective, uh, two to three minutes. If you're not giving them the option to download a clean file, if you give them the option to download a clean file, we can sanitize it within seconds while the original file is being emulated in the cloud or the local appliance and then potentially either provided to the end user um, as the original file or if it's found to be malicious uh, it will not be provided so that's you know the download for the threat extraction emulation functionality here is uh, an account of the wells fargo so if i click on the button here you can see here that it's scanning and it's doing a check for the first time for zero phishing to make sure that the site is clean and the site scan is verified. And if everything is verified, then we will be allowed to go ahead and enter in any data. Um, if the site's been visited, and it's a one-time check. So if I were to go back to this site later, um, as long as I haven't cleaned any browser cookies or caches, um, it will then go ahead and let me just continue on because I've already checked it. It's a known good site. Um, if I do clean the browsers and the caches, it will then automatically go ahead and recheck again. And as you saw, it is not a, a lengthy check in regards to it. Um, and this will work on all the sites that have fields that are available, name, address, things of that nature. If you're populating those, we're gonna make sure that you're going to a safe site and that site is not doing anything malicious, again, to protect your data, protect uh, information you're setting into it. So it gives you some flexibility. Okay. Um, and again, those are all recorded in our little browser verified scan. If it was a problematic site, um, then it would be something that we would go and say, okay, blocked, 
no access allowed. The fields are uh, no longer writable. Um, you just basically navigate away from it because you can't really do anything to it. You're not going to be able to go back and do anything to it anyway. Okay. So those are some of the key features that are available um, that you can use out of the box. It's non-intrusive, but it protects yourself, it protects the organization, and it protects the user uh, with simple functionality and ease of use. Thanks a lot, everyone, and talk to you later.